Greetings and welcome to the devlog at Son of Nor version 0.5.2. A game from a small studio called Still Life Studio and game coming from a Kickstarter. It raised 150k last uh, year end of May. So and just a few days ago it appeared on Steam Early Access and it's finally here so we can try it out. Uh, it's quite a unique game with uh, some pretty interesting features including the hardware support that I've never seen in any game before. But let's start an overview from the settings menu as we usually do. So you have your separate audio sliders, always good. You have a video config, um, it's pretty basic. So this is a Unity game, uh, so it runs on uh, PC, Mac and Linux. And at the moment, the, all the settings that you can do is actually the Unity presets, which is, I mean, okay, but, you know, would be good to see better. You can toggle stuff like ambient occlusion, bloom, and sun shafts, and as well vertical sync, obviously. But it would be good to have a bit more customization here. Uh, you can rebind the controls, so you can play either with mouse and keyboard, and I can say that they work perfectly fine, or you can play with the controller. Um, so the game supports several controllers and you can play uh, with two players in a split screen. So this is nice. And then you have some uh, uh, game options. So first of all, there's like they collect the anonymous data, which is, I mean, fine by me. You know, the more data they get, the better the game will be. So that's always good. And then you have the support for um, third party hardware devices, which includes uh, Emotive Epoch which is an EEG um, brainwave reading device, basically. So you can actually cast spells and do stuff like this with, with the with power of your mind. <laughs> you can use Oculus Rift to play it um, in a VR manner. Not sure how it will look. I should get my out of the um, wardrobe and actually try that. And you can use Toby, which is an eye tracker to actually do the uh, cast the spells and terraforming where your eyes look, not where, you know, your mouse points, which is actually quite interesting. I unfortunately don't have Emotive and Toby, but I do have an Oculus, so I will definitely try uh, to play with it. Okay, let's go into the game. So this is my guy. For some reason, it's actually reset the colors that I picked to the default ones. Not sure what's going on here. So as you can see here, some progress that I did. And um, unfortunately, you at the moment have to pick the controller before you start. And there's no way to hot switch from controller to mouse inside of the game. Not sure why, but well, yeah, as you can see, you can add the second player and play a split screen, or you can play multiplayer with up to four players online, obviously. So this is a pretty interesting thing as well that the developers uh, mentioned that the when you play with the se several players, the levels are different and the puzzles are designed for several people to solve. So let's load, I guess, yeah, I guess this one so that I can show you some combat and some environmental interaction as well and let's hit the play button loading times are quite good uh, on my machine at least so it's not as power not very powerful as you know uh, but yeah i mean the game is not exactly running a real engine so it's your unity engine it looks nice uh, the world design is actually quite amazing the graphics are okay i mean they definitely will polish them more, but the texture quality and all this stuff are average, let's say so. But the world design just, you know, it just blows me away even with this uh, kind of textures and, and um, assets. So it's, it's incredible. So here we go, that's me. I am a elemental mage and I can do different things. For example, telekinesis, I can pick stuff up and throw it. And I think there should be some bad guys here, so we'll take this along with us and hit them in the head with that. Okay, let's see, let's go here. Oh, I think that's the wrong way. Okay, let's go there. Is it this way? Okay, so yeah, you have a set of um, elemental powers that you can use to deal, oh, okay, with enemies, so here we go. 
There's some enemies here. Let's smack him in the head. Let's get some air. What? Okay. Blow them away. So, and see. Whoa, whoa. No, no, no. No, go away. Ah, God damn it. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Yeah, okay, we burned some of them. Nice. Okay, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. It, no, ah, God damn it, they have shields. Come on. Ah, no, I'm gonna be dead. No, ah, they stun lock. No, God damn it. The enemies are. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say that they are exactly the smartest guys, but sometimes they can swarm you pretty hard. Especially those guys with shields are. Ah, oh, god damn it, they stun lock me again. Go away. So I'm not yet very good with the combat, I guess. I have to. Ugh. Come on, come on. Come on. Maybe we can try to enhance it with wind and then smack them. Yeah. That didn't work too good. Go away. Okay, is there something I can use to hit them? Maybe more fire. Let's try to burn them again. Come here. Come here. Come closer. Now burn. Whoa! No! Go oh, God damn it! Go away. Okay, let me just deal with them, and then I will continue telling you about the game. No! Go. Okay. Is there something else I can throw at them? Well, there kinda is. Ah! God damn it! I think I'm st no, I'm not stuck. Okay, that's good. Uh, do I oh, what? Why is he behind me? Okay, we can just lift him up. Oh yeah, we got the shield, and I killed him with his shield. Okay, cool. I think that was the last one. All right. So yes, this you have your telekinesis ability and then I have my wind ability which I just recently get so I have to consume actually wind that's coming from uh, somewhere like there and then I can pick up stuff and enhance it with wind for example so I can combine telekinesis with wind and then it makes the projectiles more powerful or I can just you know blow the stuff away and that creates a small tornado that actually uh, stuns the enemies for a bit so I've come to a temple that I think will give me the firepower Okay, so I f that we finished the level and we'll go into the temple. That will give me the firepower and, um, uh, like, according to the developers, the coolest part about the game is that you can combine all the powers you have. So you can actually combine the wind with fire and with telekinesis to throw evil fireballs with wind basically into your enemies. Okay, so we have a small cutscene here. I have to note that the cutscenes at the moment are a bit quirky, so sometimes subtitles doesn't show and there's no voiceover to hear anything, so you know, some pieces of the story just like kind of disappear and you're like, what, what, what's going on here? But I guess, you know, I mean, early access, they will fix that. I would prefer, I mean, if they, I'm not sure if they will do any voiceovers, but if they want, I would prefer to have a cutscenes where I can click when I read the text, you know, because for me as a someone who is non-native um, English speaker, it's sometimes quite hard to read a lot of English text in a short time span. So it's always easier to click through. Okay, let's see what do we have here. So yeah, this is a temple and I was in a temple to get the wind power as well. And I must note that the designs of these levels are just fantastic. I mean, just look at this. All of this, all the colors, all the mechanisms. Can we blow through here? Do we take that? Come on. Can we blow? No, what? Hmm. Okay, I wonder what I need to do. So the temples are usually come along with quests or puzzles, not rather not quests. Okay, do I go here? So no, that's where I came from, right? Aha! Here we go. So that wasn't that hard actually. It's just me being stupid. Alright, two hours later I finally got in. Okay, so let's continue our overview of the game. 
All right, so we got into. So what is this game about? Well, it's about the humans being oppressed by the angry reptilians or lizard man, I guess. Okay, we got some nice floor here. Um, so as you can see, the graphics are, or rather the art style of the game is pretty cool and all the levels look different. I like, okay, this statue is the same as it was in the first temple, but I guess this is because it's some God thing. But the style is actually completely different and it looks very, very cool. Okay, so yeah, so this is a game is about humans who are uh, oppressed by angry lizard man who had magic before humans. And then the god Nor saved humans and placed them into the hidden place basically in the mountains where they hid for some time until lizard man came again and so you had to save everyone. And then you go into venture to see what lizard man wants. Um, I don't remember how you call the lizard man actually properly, so I would tell you if I ah, some secret. Nice. Okay. So the game consists of two things basically. The first one is um, a bit of exploration with a lot of environmental puzzles, and they are pretty smart. I mean, it took me three hours to get to this point in game and that's like level six or seven so that's not that far into game levels are quite short uh, and well yeah the puzzles was challenging I mean wasn't easy uh, but it was enjoyable so that was pretty cool and uh, the second part of the game is combat you always have a several ways to approach it so you can just evade it by hiding and or running away from enemies which is not always easy uh, you can uh, just take it head on and you know bomb the shit out of them so that works as well as you've seen as I've shown me oh there's a guy there nope nope uh, do I have something to attack him actually not sure and the third way is to actually set up traps I don't have, I think the fire, uh, actually, the fire element makes, oh god, oh, archer, you son of a bitch, okay, what do I do with him, can I just get him somewhere that he dies, come here, okay, you will go with me, I will, you will be my test subject, okay, I don't know, go in there, can he be squashed somewhere or something? There an evil laser thing. So you can actually carry around one enemy, but that's maximum. So you can throw him, you can just put him back. Can he be squashed? Come on, come on. Squash him. I wonder if he will be squashed actually if I just put him here. Let's wait a bit and see. And I let him go and that doesn't work. That's a bit sad come on uh where did he go what okay well yeah early access so yeah and the third way is setting up traps um i i mean you obviously can just use your telekinesis to put a lot of stuff together and then just uh, crush your enemies under it that always works but when you get fire i guess the um, traps actually get a bit smarter yeah let's lift him up come on Ah, here we go. And we can smack him with his shield. Come on, I need shield. And again. And again. And he's dead. Nice. Okay, I prefer the head-on approach. Not sure, maybe because I'm not very good with stealth stuff. Um, can we get his shield, please? Come on. One. Where's the shield? Uh-oh. Come on, we need something to throw. Come here. Smack. Mac. He's dead. Okay, nice. Okay, and yeah, I mean the combat is simplistic, but quite enjoyable, especially when you have a lot of foes. I mean, the there's a small problem with enemies right now is the AI is a bit glitchy. It sometimes gets stuck, sometimes... Uh, there's a guy there. Oh, there's two guys there. Not good. Do we have something to throw at them? Let's see... 
Okay, I have lava here, so I can throw one of them there. So yeah, AI is a bit glitchy and... Okay, give me your shield. Smack. Come on, come on, come on. I, yep. Uh, God damn it. Now your turn. Okay, let's throw him to lava. That should be fun. Come on, come here. You will be our test subject. I wonder if he'll actually fall there. Come on. So enemies are really heavy, so it's quite hard to move them. Okay, yeah, here we go. Nope. Come on, go into the lava. Go there. God damn it. Come on. Or was it because he fell from there? Let's try to release him. Uh, nope. Yep, that was because he fell. Okay, lava is a bit too far. Oh well, he died anyway, so we're good. Okay, so let's pick some air. And what I actually need in this room? Do I need any? Ah, there's. A, is it an exit? Nope. Okay. Ah, here's an exit. No. Is it the same way? I am confused right now. That does not look... Is it the same way or not? Okay. Came from here. No, okay. This is what's the different way. Okay, cool. Okay, so yeah, if you... Basically, if you don't enjoy the environmental puzzles and playing with the uh, magic combinations, which is pretty fun, and, you know, some... Uh, nice combat with a bit quirky AI in the moment, but I hope, I mean, I'm pretty sure they will fix that. So that's uh, not a problem. It's just version 0 0.5 now. It's pretty good. Pretty enjoyable. And I've, uh, for the old three hours, I was really curious, you know, where the storyline will go, what will happen next, and what, how the next zone will look and so on. Okay, where is he? And so can I do I have something to throw at him actually? Uh, just run away. Okay, whatever, I'll just run away from him. Ah, here we go. It turned away. Come here. Smack. 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 Okay, he's dead. Okay. So what about the problems of the game? Well, as I already mentioned, the AI is... Um, oh, oh, God! AI is... A bit... Uh, quirky at the times, okay. Oh, let me concentrate. Where are they? Being... Oh, oh, God. Okay, I'm dead. Um, so, yeah, one more interesting thing about this game. There is no failure state here. So you can't actually die completely. You will respawn, at least at the moment, you will respawn at your um, last save point, I guess. Not really save point, it's like the nearest position. God damn it. Can't take the corpse. Ugh. Yes, you can use corpses to kill enemies. Ugh. Come on. I need something to throw at him or I will die horribly again. Where is he? Come here. Bang. Yep, okay, he's dead. Nice. Alright, so yeah, aside from the AI problem, which is no doubt will be solved, there is an issue with one of the game mechanics, which is extremely annoying and I would say infuriating. So if you have air uh, attached to your hands, you can uh, make pieces of uh, rock or whatever you have in your hands levitate. You do it like this and it floats. And you can actually use it to solve jump puzzles. The only problem is that you don't have enough control. Knock the power of orb and find a place to use it. Okay. So you don't have enough control over the pieces that fly to actually 
position them in a way that will be useful to you. So right now I can hover it and all I can do is use my scroll wheel to move it closer or further away. So there's no way or at least I haven't found it to actually rotate it uh, the way I want. So it's extremely hard. Like I want to position it here so that I can jump up, but not in this way. So this is, you know, it's... And there was like a few time, few puzzles that was like, okay, you have to position this tree leaves to jump across this really big um, pit. And that was freaking infuriating to do that because the leaves won't turn the way I want them and, you know, the I would just die again and again and then it just gets like rage and not, not very good, not very good. Okay, what I do to free this orb? But I hope they will somehow allow you to actually turn that piece that you hold. Because otherwise some of the jumping puzzles are... Well... Would be a freaking pain in the ass if you put it blunt. Okay, let's see what can I do here. Do I do something with those? Nope. Let's just throw stuff at the orb, right? That always works. Hmm. Oh, okay. That was quite simple. Just follow the trail on a <laughs> on the floor. Okay, yeah, I'm a very smart guy, I know. Okay, uh, more enemies. Aha, nice, he's dead. Okay, um... Whoops, I'm dead as well. <laughs> I guess... Can I somehow... Protect myself? Eh? What? What the hell just happened? Okay. Just run the hell. Alright, save. Uh. Whoops. Well, that one is... I wonder if I just run here, I will be safe. Hey. Yeah, so as you can see, there are some places that are a bit strange, I guess. That's, I, I have no idea what killed me there. Okay, so I have to go... Hmm. I guess a bit better signaling of what actually kills you would be nice. So you can actually know what the hell is going on here. Ouch. Um, 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 where'd I go? There? No, okay. Okay, yes, I go there. I safe. Run! No! I've got absolutely no idea what kills me, but whatever, I'm almost there. Come on. So, what is this thing? Ah, I can press it and turn all of that off. Nice, okay. That works. All right, so yeah, there are some rough edges, but you know, it's early access anyway, so uh, it's up to you to decide if you want to wait until they polish them up or you want to buy in now and, you know, support the developers, which is always nice to do. So this is, uh, well, maybe let's try to get the orb first and then wrap it up. Okay, come on. So what do I do with it? I probably have to carry it back. Okay, environmental puzzles, this time with deadly enemies. Let's see, where do I carry it? Uh, there? Was that? No, there wasn't anything. <coughs> okay, um, closed door and I don't have any, any wind. Come on, I need some wind. And pick it up. Ah, there we go. So we can put it here and we're... Yeah, nice. Okay. Staircase once again. Okay, so yeah. That's basically got me to the second level. And I need to get to the third one. So more puzzles, more enemies. This is Son of Noir. It's available for PC, Mac and Linux. Uh, it's Steam Early Access for $18 or your original equivalent. And if you enjoy uh, adventure games with uh, environmental puzzles and some occasional combat, 
this game is probably for you. So I'm really looking forward to doing an overview of upcoming updates, if there will be something uh, like new features. I mean, not like this game needs this. Polishing up and more content is basically all it requires to become a really, really great game. But anyway, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it develops. And thank you for watching and see you during the next update. Bye.